Jeep Automobile Repairs. If you're looking for help fixing your Jeep automobile, look no further. Our comprehensive Jeep Automobile Repair Guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and maybe show you how to repair your vehicle. Jeep manufactures cars that owners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy autos require occasional maintenance or repair. However, if you're in need of Jeep auto repair from experienced professionals, your local auto helper can help. The car keeps overheating. Surprisingly, overheating doesn't happen that often especially in modern cars with the complex systems, sensors, and so on acting to keep the vehicle's temperature just right. Making sure the radiator is looked after and the water pump is working is the easiest and cheapest way to prevent problems with overheating. Whatever car you own will require regular maintenance and even then you will still get things that go wrong from time to time. Some car models are more prone to certain issues than others and driving style can also have some impact on wear and efficiency. No matter what your vehicle. We hope that you have found this list helpful. Staying vigilant for signs of trouble and dealing with them when they occur saves time and money and keeps you on the road. Rust. It can come as a shock to find rust on your car though it doesn't always represent a serious issue it depends on where the rust is found. Rust on the bodywork is cosmetic but rust underneath the car or on your exhaust could be potentially dangerous and should be investigated as it could eat away at essential components. Rust needs an anode, cathode, and an electrolyte to form which makes cars prone to it. If the climate is humid enough your car can develop rust even if it's undercover. The metal in your car can act as the anode and cathode and water is an electrolyte. A quick check around your vehicle, under the wheel arches, and around the exhaust on a regular basis is often enough to spot any rusting issue but every few months. Especially if you live in a damp or humid environment. It would be a good idea to get on your hands and knees and check under your vehicle thoroughly. The starter motor is failing. The starter motor is the component that turns the engine over when you start the car. If it fails it is either a result of electrical solenoid damage. The motor itself has broken or there are other faults in the electrical system. It is difficult to assess when a starter motor is likely to break and to avoid replacing it unnecessarily it is best to get the car inspected by a professional to determine the cause of the starting issues before doing so. The radiator is leaking. Radiator leaks are almost always caused by corrosion. Corrosion itself can have a lot of causes but once you get one leak you are likely to get more so it makes sense to replace the whole radiator. If you don't keep the radiator in good condition you can get problems with overheating and ultimately could end up with an engine fire. The alternator is failing. The alternator is an essential part of the running of your car. It keeps your battery charged and makes sure all the electrics run once you have started the vehicle. If it breaks your battery can wear out and you find it difficult to start the car. Keep up with the service intervals and make sure you get it replaced in good time. The tires are wearing unevenly. A certain amount of wear over time is normal but if you find that the tires wear down quickly this indicates a potential problem. If there is vibration through the steering wheel or you find that your tires are wearing unevenly you should ask someone to check the vehicle. It could be that the suspension needs alignment. In addition, sometimes tire problems are caused by external factors or by defects in manufacture. Window problems. Most new cars have electric windows and one of the major bugbears of car owners is when they stop winding all the way up. It isn't just annoying either. A gap can mean water can enter the car's interior and damage it. Or you could become more of a target for thieves. There are cracks in the windscreen. Usually, it takes some kind of external force like a stone to crack a windscreen but there are some cars that are prone to damage because of factory production vulnerabilities. Although a small crack might not seem like a big deal. It can spread rapidly and compromise the integrity of the glass. Source servicingmaster.co.uk